how do you think the MIFID II start to go? Did you see or hear of any hiccups? Uh, to be honest, uh, we decided all the stuff in 2014. The proposal from the Commission came in 2011. We had to transfer the Pittsburgh obligation from 2009, and now it comes into force 3rd of January 2018. But there was time enough for anyone to prepare, and I'm very confident that everything will go properly. Okay, I, I, how big is the problem that there are still several countries that haven't actually transferred MIFID into national law? Uh, if they have not done that, then the European law applies automatically to all the clients over there. So uh, if, uh, as we have done MIFID and MIFIR, the regulation is valid in, any member, in every member state, and especially in the area of consumer protection, which is a MIFID issue, not a MIFIR issue, uh, then, uh, uh, of course, all citizens have the rights, uh, according to the MIFID, uh, the European legislation, that those member states who have not uh, brought things in place, are uh, the, 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 the clients are protected there as well. Um, sir, a, a lot of market participants have been worried about it. Do you think their, their concern was too much, that there was too much panic about MIFID II? I think there was too much panic, but if you, because if you look to the core of MIFID II, it is a huge regulation for regulated market, for stock markets, for uh, uh, any markets where things are traded even commodity markets. Uh, we have uh, made le legislation, for example, for high-frequency trading, position limits uh, to ban uh, foot speculation, a lot of things. And anyone is now concentrating on the consumer protection area. But honestly, what we found out when we started the legislation, and I was the responsible person to negotiate all that stuff, was that uh, product development was driven by the sales point and not by the interests of the clients. And that is what we changed. And that, of course, is a cultural change, but I think it is the right one. And the other thing, to make documentation on all the things you do as a banker, as a distributor, as a salesman for financial products, that are obligations we have in a lot of areas uh, for other people as well, for other branches as well. So it's only transferring what we have on other areas now to the financial markets. Mm -hmm.